Well, if any of you guys follow politics, you would know that the, the Republicans took that the House, so on and so forth. And the Democrats uh, still have the Senate. They have 52 votes in the Senate, which means absolutely nothing because of the fact that since the Republicans have been the minority party for the last two years, they've used the filibuster to such a high degree they completely have pretty much crippled our political system. We can't really get anything done. The amount of vote, the amount of bills that got filibustered by the Republicans has never been seen in the history. I get, I, I bet you, you can take the amount of times the filibuster has been used in the last 20 years, and it wouldn't even equal how much the Republicans have used a filibuster in the last two. I bet you. Check it. And I know a lot of people, you know, like the Republican Party, or people who really don't, you know, pay attention to politics, or people who watch Fox News. You know, one of the two. But uh, <clears throat> when it really comes down to it, the whole reason that our political system is so broken is because the Republicans have used the filibuster so much. But what they've done with it is they use the filibuster so much and stop the Democrats from doing any type of work that they just pretty much said, look, the Democrats aren't doing anything for you. You know, we're the ones that are stopping the Democrats from working, but, you know, the Democrats aren't doing anything for you. So don't vote for them. Vote for us. And the Democrats were too weak to, you know, stand up and say, you people need to realize that we're trying to help, you know, we're trying to pass bills to get our economy back on its feet and so on and so forth. We're really trying to, you know, help stimulate the economy. We try the whole, uh, you know, trickle down theory and that's what gone this recession. So we can't do this anymore. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm it's, it's not going to work. I really wish the, you know, one Democrat just got wasted one time on the Senate floor and just ran on a Republican, just knocked him. He would have spent some time in jail, but people would have been like, why is the Democrats so pissed? And Fox News would have been like, you know, the Democrats are insane. But I think they would have got the message across that, you know, there's actually a fight going between them. That there's a difference. And you know, the hilarious thing about this last election is the majority of Democrats who lost in the House were, were Democrats who had to like Republicans. I remember seeing one political commercial and just looking at it, and it was just, she was just like, I never voted for Obama on this and that and this and the other. I was like, okay, whose party are you for? And she lost. And then that happened to the majority of Democrats. The Democrats that were too weak to actually, you know, stand up and say, I'm a Democrat, those are the Democrats that lost this election. But what's going to happen in the future? Democrats, you have two options. Uno, dos. First option is you can hope that because the Republicans now have some say in the political system that they're going to be more willing to actually let, gills, let bills get passed and, you know, they might actually be a little bipartisan willing to come over on the aisle. Now, Democrats have been constantly, constantly trying to get Republicans over on the aisle. Obama's handed his hand out so many times and the Republicans just acted like they're going to shake it. Like Obama's hand, all right, you know, it doesn't work with two different hands, but Obama's hand, Republicans. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> and they did that. Obama was just like, he's going to grab my hand this time. Wait, this time. This time. This time. This time. My hand's going to get a little tired. This time. Okay. You know what? We're going to do our own thing with the health care bill. You guys have fun. And, you know, the Democrats just allowed this to go on for as long as it did to the point to which people were just like, you know, what's going on with their political system? And then it pretty much broke down to the point they were just like, I don't know what we're going to do anymore. Democrats just broke. They broke. And the Republicans were just sitting back like, these idiots don't even know that we're blaming them for our, all of our mistakes. We're blaming you, Democrats. We're blaming you, Democrats. And you can't even realize it. And it's working beautifully. Yes. Score, baby. Score. Democrats, they don't even know. Like, how great is that? That's like playing for a team and then throwing three interceptions and blaming the interceptions on the other team. And the reason that you lost the game was because of the fact that the other team made you psychically throw them those interceptions. That's pretty much what the Republican strategy for 2010 was. And it worked. It worked. I, I mean, if I was there, if I was in Senate, I would have said, you know what? I would have been on TV every day. If I was a Democrat, I would have been on TV every day. I don't know what I would have to do to get on TV, but I'd be on TV every day. I would even go on Fox News. I'd show up in, I don't know, like a Spider-Man mask or something, you know, 
<laughs> do something crazy like that just so I could get on TV and just, you know, take off the mask. Okay, this is going on our political system. The Republicans are completely screwing up. We can't do anything whatsoever. And this is what we're having to deal with. But Democrats were too pussy. Tear. Not really a tear because the Democrats really weren't doing anything. If the Democrats actually cared, they would have fought against the Republicans. But instead of fighting against the Republicans, the Democrats just want to sit back and say, we really try to help you. Come on, please believe us. Please believe us. And then the Republicans are like, they're trying to kill you. Oh, they're trying to kill you. Trust me, they're trying to kill you. Just don't don't listen to them. They're trying to kill you. No, we're, we're trying to help you. They're trying to kill you. What's a more motivating you know, perspective or thought? I'm trying to help you. Uh, they're trying to kill you. Trying to kill you is a little more motivating. Like, uh, you know, I don't need a lot of, I need help, but uh, I don't need to die. So I'm not going to go with the Democrats right now. And it worked. So political strategy for you guys, for you Democrats, grow a set. Just man up and say, I know we've made mistakes. We're kind of weak, but they are retarded. They put us in this recession. We're trying to get this out. Look at the facts. Here's five facts. Look at them. Bush was in office. Started a war against a country who never attacked us. Started giving tax breaks to rich, rich people that they could never pay off. And that brought us into a deeper recession. Destroy the real estate market by just lowering interest rates, to, well, hiring interest rates to the point that people who owned houses couldn't pay it off. On top of that, allowed healthcare industry to completely skyrocket their rates to the point that people couldn't keep up with that, and they started dropping people. And last but not least, I know there's got to be a fifth I can come off with the top of my head. Um, War... Well, oh, started the whole thing against the war on terror in Guantanamo Bay to recruit more terrorists. And we spent more time there, and, you know, we invaded another country. That's where our money is. Republicans. That was them, not us Democrats. Nope, that wasn't us. Don't believe me? Look it up. Please look it up. It's on the internet, the interweb. Just don't trust Fox News. They like you a lot, but they kind of like the Republicans more. Just do that. Like, come on, do something, please. Something, something. Democrats grow a set. And this next video, I'm going to tell you, tell what the two options the Democrats have for this upcoming term and, you know, the next few years of the Democratic Party. I got some good news and I got some bad news if the Democrats aren't willing to stand up. Deuces. I still need to come with the catchphrase I'm working on it.